Your seed is anything that helps another. Your seed can be information, it can be encouragement, and it can even be finances. Whatever it is, seed is your door to getting out of trouble. A seed is your key to move into a whole different realm of revelation, information, and also financial reward. Job sowed a seed for his friends, and he received deliverance. Job 42.10, Scripture says, And when Job prayed for his friends, God gave him twice what he had before. See, his seed of prayer brought deliverance into his house. Are you praying for others? Are you praying for their financial breakthrough? Whatever you sow, you will also reap. David, King David, stopped a tragedy for Israel by sowing a financial seed. 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 25. And David built there an altar unto the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord entreated for the land and the plague was stayed from Israel. Sow a seed. Back in, in, in Israel, you sowed a seed before you went to battle. You sowed a seed after the battle. If you've got a battle that you're facing, then you need to sow a seed. You need to get out in front of your battle. Sowing a seed, anticipating victory coming into your life. Luke chapter 6, verse 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Pressed down. I know you know this scripture, but listen to it again with fresh ears, with a different understanding. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you made with them, it shall be measured to you again. In the New Living Translation, that last verse says, Whatever measure you use in giving, large or small, it will be used to measure back to you what you're giving. Galatians 6, 7, Whatever you sow, that and that only shall you reap. You know, in Mark, we talk about a hundredfold return. You need a miracle, you need to sow a seed. Whatever it is, sow a miracle seed today. And that's what I call getting to the point.